The following content is for entertainment purposes only. All of voices in this video and this disclaimer were generated using artificial intelligence and are not actual quotes of the persons depicted. This content is purely satirical and is in no way a political advertisement or contains any political bias. Viewer discretion is advised. My fellow Americans. It's season two, motherfuckers. It's a whole new world we live in. Do, 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 do. It's a whole new way to see. Do, 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 do. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. But you still gotta catch them all. And be the best that you can be. Pokemon Johto. Holy shit, boys, I cannot be more ready after that. In fact, how about we just sing old Pokemon songs for views from now on and forget the Pokemon Crystal? Maybe let's not get ahead of ourselves, Donald. To be fair, our pitch wasn't perfect, and I'm sure the people actually want to see us play this randomizer does luck. As much as I want to put that rendition of the Gen 2 theme song on repeat in my 2021 Chevy Silverado, we definitely have a game to play here, Donald. And this is going to be a lot harder than Pokemon Yellow for damn sure. Anyone else notice that Suicune was looking dummy thick in that intro at the end? New season, same sussy Biden, it looks like. I'll give you credit though, Joe, you made it farther into this playthrough without saying some of that dumb shit that made you famous during Pokemon Yellow than I thought you would. Looks like we're off to a flying start. But before we get this action kicked off, everybody, we want to remind you this will not be a vanilla playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. This will be a randomized news lock, and we will show you all of the settings we've applied to this save file. For starters, all Pokemon-based statistics will be randomized, and all evolutions will be random as well. The only rule is that the evolution line must follow the same typing. For example, a Wooper would only be able to evolve into a water or ground type, and any Pokemon at the end of an evolution line will not be able to evolve further. In addition, level 40 will be the limit for the final evolution in each line, and all Pokemon will also evolve with the same level or stone conditions as usual. But we did turn off time of day evolution restrictions. The starters, wild encounters, and trade requests will all be random as well. We could end up having Suicune as our starter or as our first encounter. Move sets are also completely random, so you could have a Charmander using Hydro Pump. But we did disable game-breaking moves. So, for example, a level 2 Pokemon can't have Dragon Rage and destroy anything early game in its path. Our rival will always have his starter at every encounter, and wild Pokemon will be 20% stronger to reduce the grinding we have to do in this game because it is well known for its horrible level scaling. Finally, all items in the wild are also random with the exception of key items, and that should be just about it. Somebody else speak now because I'm sitting the next couple plays out. I couldn't be more thankful you're the resident nerd of this group, Obama. You did a fantastic job of explaining everything there. You did just forget to mention that trainers will be type themed so that every gym will have its own randomized type. I swear, if the first gym we have to go up against is Dragon, we literally just had to go through being kidnapped and having to escape from an underground lab in Moscow, so I really hope this is easier on us. 16 badges, the strongest trainer to ever exist, and all of it being random? Yeah, something tells me this isn't going to be a cakewalk, Donald. We have to be at the top of our game and ready to play better than ever before. If a Pokemon faints, we can't just heal it anymore. It's gone forever. I'm not ready for those moments. In terms of our name, I say we just make it a channel tradition to be POTUS in each save file. And just as like a mark of making it look like New Game Plus, how about we do two exclamation points this time? We've earned it. I, I mean, I'm not gonna say no because the exclamation point thing was my idea in yellow, but how about you wait for confirmation before you lock something in that big, you jackass? Real talk, Joe, but we can talk about that later because it is officially go time. We are live, everyone. I'm just gonna start off by grabbing the potion out of the PC, so we have at least that to start with. Hey, wait a minute, where's my free potion? I thought Game Freak gives us a stimulus package to begin. Unfortunately, we don't get a free item in this game, Joe. They took that out in Pokemon Crystal. At least we can get more healing items than last time by virtue of getting berries from trees that didn't exist last generation. Oh, you liberals always looking for the easy way out and wanting free stuff. How about you go out there in the fields and win some trainer battles so you can afford some medicine? All we're asking for is medicine at the same cost you paid during tax season, Donnie. Is that so much to ask for? I swear on Ivanka that I will absolutely eviscerate you on the debate stage for that comment, old man. Oh shit, 
He swore on the one he actually cares about. You better take that threat seriously, Joe. Oh, man, I'm absolutely shaking really fast, though. Hey, guys, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Can you tell me which thing is not like the others? Before I finish my song. It's Donald, because he actually lost a presidential election. Ratio plus L plus you're getting smacked in November if you win the primary big boy. What the fuck, Bush? Why don't you have my back like Obama with Biden? Us Republicans need to stick together. Well, excuse me for not using a teleprompter like they do and not being ready for that ambush. Also, these guys are closer than ever right now, seeing Biden has begun to take part in the family business over in Yemen. I could not be prouder with you right now, Joe. You clearly were doing your homework. When I was the VP and the democracy you are sending them is nothing short of beautiful. Did this bitch just talk shit about my mom getting my poke gear for me? Well, excuse me if I'm only a 10 year old and can't buy the newest tech on my own. Maybe this red haired gentleman will be nicer to me. Hey, wait, what the fuck? Is this Justin Tucker? Bro just kicked me halfway across town. The pills must be wearing off Sleepy Joe. You know that's our rival in this game. But do you guys have a name in mind for him? We know Putin is off the table for obvious reasons. Maybe it's just because Biden said, Justin Tucker, it's in my head. But how about Tucker since he was such a fan favorite last series and definitely doesn't like us? I can't think of a better rival for us to have. Not to mention, I don't think we have to worry about him kidnapping and trapping us in a simulation. He's harmless in that regard. Yeah, I'm cool with that name, but we can confirm that later. We're about to get our starter, everyone, so let's lock in here. This is going to set the tone for the entire early game. Do we get a legendary or do we get screwed? We're at the mercy of the randomizer. I promise to go on a diet if we can get a loogie ah, right here. Come on, Godseed, bless us. Well, it looks like first off, we have the high school sex ed diagram, also known as cloister. 525 base stats is a great first option considering all of those stats are randomized and not on defense. Following Cloyster, we have Farfetch'd, who, to be honest, is nowhere near the same threat and would be a great Pokemon to stick with our rival the entire game. And last but not least, we have Mantine, who isn't a bad option, but at the same time, I really don't want our rival to have a Cloyster the entire game. So I think the option is clear here, boys. We go with the gateway to manhood for young men everywhere. Way ahead of you, Donnie. We have our first Pokemon, and hopefully we can keep him from start to finish in this run. Joe, let's pay homage to our boy Dilkson and his band name from the Pokemon Showdown ladder. There couldn't be a better name than Potosy for Cloyster. Hopefully that salty bitch who got that name banned on Showdown isn't here on YouTube. But if he is, he can cope and mauled because the name is awesome and we refuse to say otherwise. Well, it looks like we're off to a great start then with our starter boys. As long as we play smart, and get a balanced stat distribution, we should have no issue being able to carry it into the late game. Well, I guess there's no better time than the present to check out the stats and moves on this thing. And ooh, it has an item on it. Maybe it's the rainbow wing. Oh, no, wait, it's just a berry, false alarm. Yeah, I doubt our starter would be holding that Biden, but hold on and look at this goaded move set. We have Thunderbolt, a psychic type move, and while it may only be a 55% chance, a move that can inflict poison. We won't know too much about the stat distribution until it starts leveling up, but we could not have asked for anything more right here. Potency is going to be an absolute force for us. Remember everyone, the run does not start until we actually get our first poke balls, so even if Biden absolutely misplays or runs into an Entei with Thunder, we wouldn't be done just yet. Oh, give me a break, Barack. I was our best player in Pokemon Yellow. You act like I would do something that would make me look stupid, and God damn it, Tucker is two for two on field goals now. The Packers really could have used him over that bum Anders Carlson. Yeah, Joe. Way to prove me wrong there. Just get to the lab so we can get our first encounters of this run. We will get one on both Route 29 and 30, so as long as we don't mess things up, we could have three Pokemon at the end of episode one, like in our last series. Will you shut up, Obama? Look at the screen. The holy grail of compatibility is right in front of us. Show some respect. And I thought Biden was the sus one of our group. Get a hold of yourself, Donald. Farewell, sweet prince. I apologize for our potency shocking you into submission. Uh, yeah, those are words I never thought I would hear you say, Donald. But I'm just going to change the subject really fast and go back to that discussion we were having about the name of our rival. Are we all in agreement that Tucker would be a good name for him? Seeing that cave dweller would be too long of a name. 
I think that would be a fine name for us to choose. Do you have any objections, Donald? Nope, none at all. Tucker deserves this for bringing me cold food on the SS Ann. I am looking forward to the opportunity to kick his ass across two regions. Then it's settled. Glad we could agree on that pretty quickly. One other thing I was wondering about, what's our turn order going to be for this series? I think we had a pretty good system last series, so I would say we roll with it again. Biden leads us off, Donald goes second. I get episode three. And then it's up to you in episode four, George. Works for me. I can't wait to play seeing I joined really late. And my only dedicated episode in yellow was going up against Giovanni. Biden may have been the MVP last time around, but this time old W is gonna take that title. Yeah, keep dreaming, George. Just be happy you got a spot on Team Biden over here. I noticed you all got some new AI-generated icons, like I have always had, but don't think that's the source of my power. I agree with a solid negative 5% of your policies, but I really did like how you had the AI-generated logo while we just had photoshopped images of us with headsets on. So the boys and I took some time to make some new photos that will not only be unique to our channel, but feature a bit of our personalities as well. Yeah, I am glad we did this. Personally, I think mine just shows off my elite determination and shows anybody that I will be a tough opponent. Holy shit, it's the Silver Leaf, quick. Fuck this mission, we need to get to the Whirl Islands and summon Lugia. Uh, unfortunately, Biden, it's the Silver Wing that summons him and not the Silver Leaf. I will say I definitely did glance over when I saw Silver, but that's not the item we need. Also, I think you're forgetting that we need Surf, Whirlpool, and a Pokemon with a slightly higher level. Seeing that encounter is at level 60, Sleepy Joe. Get your head on straight and think before you act. Okay, Donald, give him a break. It was an honest mistake. An honest mistake, Obama. There are no honest mistakes in a Nuzlocke. In just a few minutes, one mistake could mean the absolute end of our run. There is no room for mistakes. I don't know about you, but I will do anything to protect my potency from all who try to attack it. Please tell me we got that recorded, Obama. Yes, we absolutely did. I am making that my new ringtone for when Donald calls me as we speak. Oh my God, you knew what I meant. Don't even start with this. You can't talk about not making mistakes and then get caught slacking on the mic like that, bro. Mind your phrasing. Yeah, 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 whatever. Isn't there something else we can talk about instead of your dirty minds? Well, actually, yes, there is. You see, boys, because of the magnitude of the episodes at the end of our series, we didn't actually get a chance to go over donations we got from the last few episodes. So let's thank the members from our amazing fan base that contributed to our channel. Sounds like a plan to me. Our first shout out goes to the Queen Veslime One, who sent this donation back in episode 17. The donation was made after we finished editing episode 18 already, so we didn't get a chance to shout her out then. She said that a certain green-haired trainer has a crush on me for my battle skills. What do you have to say about that, Obama? Uh, I mean good for you, Joe. I'm happily married, so why would I care in the slightest about if a certain green hair trainer that may or may not been the subject of a mistaken drone strike likes you? No reason, Barry. No reason at all. It totally has nothing to do with this image at all right here. Oh my god. Professor Elm is calling us. We need to stop whatever conversation we were having and worry about this. There's trouble at the lab. We have to get back to New Barktown immediately. Saved by the phone call, I guess there, Barack? All right, we'll let you off the hook and go to our donations from episode 18. And let's start off with the Queen Vest Slime One again, who is a huge fan of all of our development and thinks you are the GOAT Joe. What do you have to add in about your relationship with Dark Brandon? The way it works is that Dark Brandon is always aware of my surroundings. He has a mind of his own, and when he deems necessary, he takes control to help me out. There definitely is a mutual respect where he respects our boundaries and would never do anything to put me in harm, and I will never fight him for control if he thinks it's warranted. Nice lore dump there, Sleepy Joe. But it's about time for you to wrap up your story because it's time for our first battle with Tucker. It really shouldn't be an issue since we have Thunderbolt against Farfetch'd, but of course we want to destroy him and set the tone for our battles in the future. I wish this battle would last longer because it's easily the best rival battle theme in the game. It's just so perfect and there are no other words needed to describe it. I could listen to it all day. This is an absolute banger and let's also try to remember this bird has ice beam for future battles. But I would have to say Hugh from Black and White. Two has the best theme. 
Feels like I'm in a club and I'm just jamming out in the battle. Rest in piss, bozo. Round one goes to POTUS. But I would have to say my favorite battle theme is Wally from Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby because it's like I'm literally in an anime opening theme. That vibe is just unmatched. All good picks, but the best is one we just heard a few months ago. The champion battle theme against Blue was all about the culmination of an epic journey and truly set the stage for what was an epic battle. By the way, if you say it doesn't count because it's a champion battle theme, then I'll sue you. Not sure how we went from thanking our community for donations to suing them. But hey, if you've been here before, I'm sure you understand it. That's going to be our comment question for this video. Let us know below what rival battle theme you think is the best in all of the Pokemon games. Speaking of donations, we have some more to talk about and we'll go right back to episode 18, where we will now thank our biggest overall donator, King Onyx, who is complimenting us for our expert battling in the Elite Four, and especially Dark Brandon for his incredible strategy against Lance. Thank you as always, King, and we couldn't be more grateful for you. I'll be happy to talk about the next donation, but boys, while Bush was reading that he just picked up a moon ball, so does that mean the run is officially on? I'm gonna make an executive order right now and say no, because the letter of the law says when you get poke balls, not moon balls. Let's just start this when we leave from New Barktown like it should be. Works for me. Back to the donations we have. Mario King plays 2,951, who we hope enjoyed the finale he was hyped for. Spoiler alert, he did. And he said so in his donation in the finale. We're so glad you found us and we can't wait to share our journey playing Pokemon Crystal with you. Thank you so much for the donations. Next up, we would like to thank Hayakujino Wookie and some random crap 0718 who had matching donation amounts and pretty much matching comments. Thank you so much for your kind words and donations. I'm actually floored on how well you pronounce his name there, Joe. You really are one hell of a weeb. We had one more donation in the finale. You guys are spoiling the hell out of us. And I'll be shouting out King Onyx again for his $20 donation. Your donation is what brings us to tears and we're so glad you enjoyed it. We hope you had a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as well. And last but not least, we will be thanking our good friend, the Queen Veslaim, one again for her donation during the movie. She says here that, well, um, it looks like she has some photos for you, Joe but I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't screen them before they got to the Oval Office desk. I'll take care of that for you. The Nuzlocke is officially on now, by the way, boys, but Obama, it clearly says there they aren't for you. How about you shut the fuck up and read some of your court paperwork, Donald? Mind your own business. I think I'll just take them, Obama. I'm going to respect Queen's wishes. She's 21, bro. Yep, not interested all yours, Obama. Wait, no, no, Barack. Give me those back right now. They aren't for you. Fuck you, Towers. Go read to some second graders. God fucking damn it, he locked himself in the bunker. Biden, you better have someone sanitize that before I move back in here next year. I definitely will have it sanitized and give the cleaning staff a week off for mental health recovery. But don't worry, fam, you won't be moving back in here until 2029 at the earliest. If you still even wanted to be president again. Joe, why did you agree to watch the catching tutorial? We don't need to waste any time with that. Well, since it's randomized, I wanted to see who dude over here would encounter. It would be absolutely hilarious if he just caught a level five Mewtwo right in front of us and was like, see, that was easy, okay, bye now. That actually would be baller as fuck. And imagine he's the new champion at the end of the game. Like, hey guys, I know I was just being a nice guy and showing people how to catch Pokemon. But since I got this Mewtwo, I decided to take the entire Pokemon world down. You sound like you're interviewing for a job at Game Freak to design the next Pokemon games. But here it is, guys, our first encounter. It's oh my god, Obama's yes, yes, not yes. Here. Compatibility, it's so close to our grasp. All of the compatibility. I stand by my statement. Biden, if you fuck this up, you're going out the window. We're good, Trump. Don't worry, it's in red. So we just got to chuck poke balls at it until we catch it. Should we maybe knock this thing out accidentally so Donald isn't going insane over it the entire game? Yeah, I think I'm going to catch this one bush. I can't do that. Yeah, fair enough. How about you just put old Betsy down? Donald and we'll catch the Vaporeon. Biden, catch the damn thing. I want to go home tonight. Do you not think I'm trying here? What do you want me to do, George? Just catch the damn thing, you demented fool.
Crazy fact here. But did you know the human body has 206 bones? I wonder if each one makes the exact same noise when it breaks. I guess I could always test it out. Biden, for the love of God, I'm begging you. I have a good feeling about this one. Oh my God, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Yay, we caught it! I never doubted you for a second there, Biden. Now name it compatible. Sure, why not? It's not like you have been a complete psychopath, and I fear for my life right now. I'm not sure why you guys are acting so weird. It's a Pokemon with 525 base stats and could be an absolute powerhouse on our team if we keep it alive. It also knows Sludge Bomb, which is a nice early game move. Sleepy Joe, compatible is spelled with an I and not an A, you demented fossil. Change it right fucking now before I break out old Betsy again. I got it, I got it, chill out. Why the fuck is Secret Service not doing anything about this? What the hell is going on up here? Can a man screen photos that may pose a danger to the president of the free world? Trump's turn in the bunker. Out of my way, drone striker. You guys caught a Vaporeon, didn't you? Yes, yes we did. And you named it compatible? We really didn't have a choice in the matter. Listen, I get it. I'm just happy he didn't make us catch one in Pokemon Yellow. It does have the potential to be really good. So uh, let's just be happy with that and we still have one more encounter to get before we sign off today. We have been blessed with some good electric, psychic, and poison type moves early. So if we could get something with a really good ground or water type move, we would be in a fantastic spot for Faulkner at the first gym. We also can't complain about having two Pokemon with 525 base stats this early in the game. If we can nurse them in, let them get their best moves, then they'll be good to us. We just have to make sure not to put them in a bad spot and lose them. I've actually never done a Nuzlocker before, so I'm as excited as I am nervous. Seriously, Biden? You've never even tried one before? Seems like someone like you would have done plenty by your age. He normally just plays the game vanilla, but there was that one time he tried to invent the Youngster Joey Challenge. The Youngster Joey Challenge, and you were aware of this? It's not as bad as it sounds. One time in Pokemon Soul Silver, he tried to play the game only using a Rattata like Youngster Joey. He gave up on it, though, after Joey called him for a rematch, and he had evolved his Rattata. He was devastated! Now's not the time to open up those wounds. It's time for our next encounter. Not the best encounter right here. Doesn't evolve until level 35, so I doubt we keep him around for long. Can't use Psybeam, because that probably knocks out. So we just have to hope Thunderbolt doesn't as well. Wish we could have got a second hit off, but hold on just a minute right here. This environmental hazard has Earthquake. That just made this coughing a lot more inviting. 100 power on that move and we'll be a perfect counter Pokemon. Not gonna mess around and just throw the poke ball right here. Hopefully we can get that quick catch with no issues. Very well done there, Joe. Like we said, coughing isn't the best Pokemon and won't evolve for a long time, but any Mon with Earthquake is welcome on the team. What are we thinking for the name? Well, we already paid homage to one of our homies with Potosy. So I'm going to keep spreading the love and pay homage to Goat Producer 6 by naming Coughing after his Torkoal, which was also an episode one Pokemon. No complaints with that one, and the name actually does fit. Let's take a look and see if our new buddy Snoop has any other moves. Low accuracy, but Supersonic is a great secondary move to pair with Earthquake that can completely turn the tide of battle in a tight spot. I don't think we could have done much better this first episode, boys. And you picked up right where you left off, Joe. So great job as always, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate it, Barack. I guess it's time to sign off, but Donald is still doing his thing. So what do we do? Let's just let Donald finish what he's doing down there. And we'll meet up with him for the episode next week. I don't think any of us are going to volunteer to go get him. But that is going to do it for episode one, everybody. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for being here. And we can't wait to embark on this new journey with you. Don't forget to let us know what your favorite rival theme was in the comments below. See you next week, everyone. And as always, if you haven't joined the Discord, the link is in the description. We hope to see you in there and right back here next week for episode two. Bye, everyone. Where the fuck did everyone go? What's up all you beautiful people of YouTube and welcome to episode two of President's Play Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. 
It's your boy Donnie's first crack at the Game Boy in this series, and I'll be attempting to get us through the Sprout Tower in Violet City while also adding some new members to our team. Despite all you jerks stopping recording and leaving without telling me last week. How are you all doing today? To be completely fair, I don't think you wanted to be disturbed down there and we just let you do your thing, but I see you raised the team up a little, so they are useful this episode, so I do have to give you props for that. Let's be real, Barack. He only did it to spend some alone time with Compatible. Can you name another time he ever level grinded our team even for a task as small as getting everyone up to level six? Listen, I'm just trying to battle rich girl Dudley here. I have enough accusations to deal with at my numerous trials that I lost count of. This victory bill ain't no joke. It's the first trainer, Donald. You can't tell me there's any chance you lose a Pokemon to rich girl Dudley, can you? As long as it doesn't randomly break out Psychic, we should be fine. Since it has poison dual typing, we can just take it out with Earthquake. Seriously though, we got some blessed RNG in that first episode, getting three Pokemon that if they can survive, the late game will become some real heavy hitters. Facts, Donnie. We should get three encounters this episode so we could potentially have a full team heading into the first gym battle next episode. Are there any other Pokemon that we need to worry about that make you run to the bunker and do unspeakable things about this episode? Coming from the simp that went down there first to look at photos of Sabrina that weren't even meant for you? If we make it to Saffron City in this run, I think we're going to have to make you stand outside the gym while we attempt to get that badge. I don't think Sabrina would be very happy to see you again. I agree with Donald here. Your Riz was down so bad back there that Joe literally had to erase all traces of it. Good thing that they were able to rebuild that city so fast. On the advice of my advisors, I plead the fifth on all activities that took place during episode 14 of President's Play Pokemon Yellow. I was taking a vacation on Cinnabar Island that day. Whatever you say, Sleepy Joe, but are you guys watching this gameplay? Compatible is kicking some serious ass in its first trainer battle. Bro cannot be stopped. Put him in the Hall of Fame right now. It's beating a level two Chincho Donald. Take a step back. If it were losing this battle, I would have to ask you to turn in your trainer card. Don't you ever belittle the accomplishments of Compatible. I'll smack you harder than Drone got smacked when you battled Erica last series. You watch your fucking mouth when you speak about Drone. That beautiful fox would have burned Compatible to a crisp while you would have been sitting in the corner crying about it. Guys, guys, take it easy. We can't have half of our team fighting when any mistake we make could mean the end of one of our teammates forever. It's episode two for Pete's sake, and I would like a chance to play this series. You're right. I just lost it when he mentioned Drone. I I'm sorry, Donald, you're doing a good job. Just don't get cocky. I'm sorry too, my comment was uncalled for, but don't worry, I will make sure no harm befalls any of our teammates and you will have six Pokemon when you battle Faulkner. I'll make sure you're in a great spot to succeed. Another issue settled in the Biden White House. Miracles happen in this office every day. The only miracle that happens in this office every day is that your ancient ass is still breathing in here. But another battle down and we continue onwards, gentlemen. It is strange that even the second battle in this series could have been the last. Any corner we turn, there could be a bug catcher waiting with a Mewtwo. I have to admit there's something to that that makes every second interesting, and I couldn't be happier we decided to kick up the difficulty for this series. Looks like our audience thinks the same. I just want to take a quick second to shout out all of our amazing community for coming out to see episode one of this series. It has absolutely demolished the view count of any other video early on and has more views than the yellow finale already. Thank you all so much for your support. We couldn't do this without you. He bro is pandering like he's on the debate stage already. But real talk, you all have been amazing. And we're gonna take some time right now to shout out all of the donations from last episode. Bush said you were spoiling us at the end of last season and that was no different in episode one. We're going to start off with our first donation of season two and it's no other than our boy King Onyx. He definitely thought we were off to a hilarious start and that he thinks Donald has excellent taste in Vaporeon. Also, he agrees with me that Hugh had the best battle theme. Thank you so much for the donation, Onyx. And if any of you noticed, we pinned Onyx's comment and for season two, the pinned comment will always be the highest donator of the episode. 
If it's a tie, then whoever comments first gets the tiebreaker. Enjoy the pin, buddy, and thanks as always for the donation. Good thing that thunder attack missed while you were reading that comment. Who knows what that could have led to. Our next two donations come from Xylarum Say 7748, who is absolutely right. We are indeed so Barack. And from J Hypno 6872, who loves the dynamic and the new images. It did take some time to get the right prompts to generate them, and we appreciate you like them. Thank you so much, you two, for your donations. Hold up one second, Obama, because we have our first encounter of this episode. And as we told you all in Mount Moon, glory to the dome, our belief has blessed us with a descendant of Biden over here. Oh man, I remember when Cabutops roamed the land. They were the real apex predators while those dome bitches hid whenever they saw one. I actually ran with a crew of Cabutops called the Slasher Sigmas, and we ruled the land with iron swords for hands. While there's no way that story is remotely true, I'll indulge you for a second, Biden. How did you run with them if you didn't have swords for hands, and how were the words slasher and sigma even invented back then? There was one Kabutops a cave over who I wasn't quite fond of. So when he was asleep, I used Brick Break to take those swords for my own. As for your other question, don't worry about it, and don't ask questions you don't want answers to. I'm entitled to answers. I want the truth, Sleepy Joe. You can't handle the truth, son. We live in a world that has gyms, and those gyms have to be guarded by men with Pokemon. Who's gonna do it? You, you, Lieutenant Bush, I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. Uh, I think you got your life confused with another Jack Nicholson role again there, Sleepy Joe. Did you forget to take your pills again? Has there ever been a time where he has actually remembered to take his pills, Barack? I didn't know how big of a Jack fan he was, though. However, I did like his story, so I'm gonna name this one Slasher. If anything, it would give Joe more motivation to keep it alive throughout this run. Welcome to the Team Slasher. It was a pretty good story, not going to lie. But since it's clearly a Joe Off His Pills episode, I, I'll ask you to keep going, Biden. Whatever became of the Slasher Sigmas? I find your lack of faith disturbing, George. But to answer your question, they all got wiped out when a Metagross used Meteor Mash. I thought that was in all the history books. That wasn't even a Nicholson movie this time. Somebody get him his damn pills before he thinks Will Ferrell was the one who said, say hello to my little friend. I'll get them in one second, but Slasher has some potential, but looks very situational. He has no speed, but a really high attack stat. So if he can tank a hit or go in against a paralyzed Pokemon, then he can kick some ass. What the heck is this gorgeous box right here? It says, open it and see what's inside. So I'm intrigued. I hope it's a small loan of a million dollars, but hey, look, it's a trophy. Game Freak has awarded me for my excellence in gameplay. I would like to thank all of my fans, and really, it's the Pokemon on our team that make it all possible. Wow, that's actually an item that you can only get from a Pokemon, transferred from Pokemon Stadium and incredibly hard to get. I didn't think the randomizer would even have that in there. Apparently, it's harder to find a Pokemon in this damn cave. Of course, we can never get this RNG when we actually want it. Come on already, wild Pokemon. Apparently, all you had to do was yell at the game, and our reward is a baby bird. Where's this luck that you got last episode, Joe? You get two Pokemon with base stats over 500, and I get a fossil slower than an old person in front of you when you're trying to get to work in this bird that we should consider lucky if it even makes it out of Sprout Tower. Oh, come on, Donald. It's not the end of the world. What if it knows Psychic, and it has some crazy speed and special attack numbers? This Naitu could be a real gem for us. Doubt intensifies. I'm just gonna whip a Pokeball at it and hope for the best, seeing it already hurt itself in its confusion. And great, now this bird is going to cost us money as well. There's 200 Poke Dollars down the drain. It knows Dig? Now that's an interesting move for it to have right there. It can counter electric types that would tear at a new one without that move. Also, we can save on escape ropes by using it to get out of caves. This little guy ain't so bad, Donald. Wow, a whole four damage using a move with 80 base power. This guy is going to be the backbone of our team. My rage is about to boil over right here. Get in the fucking ball, you goddamn bird. At least it's not confused anymore, so you can try to weaken it some more. Maybe one or two more hits and we can definitely catch it. I'm just going to try and give it a status ailment to make it easier to catch. And oh, of course, why would that work? Ha ha ha, give me a fucking break and I'll just take a breath. I know you want to catch a legendary. We all do. 
But any Pokemon that you catch in a Nuzlocke is a gift and an opportunity to stay alive if something goes wrong. We can't waste any of our encounters. Catch this Nechu. And I bet it plays a role on this team. All right, I'll focus up here and come the fuck on. Give me a fucking break. Can this hit already? Just quit with trying to poison it. It's a level five Donald. Just get it into yellow and catch it. You're overthinking it. It's not like you're trying to catch a level 40 in Victory Road right now. Fuck that noise. It's not even worthy of another turn. Get caught right now. Well, not the optimal gameplay for damn sure, but well played regardless, Donald. What are you going to name it? To be honest, I don't really have a great name and I'm super tilted right now, so I'm gonna name it Psycho, seeing we were talking about movies. And it is a psychic type, so that's my reasoning. You may not be a king in my eyes yet, Psycho, but prove yourself to me and to everyone that you belong on this team. You have been watching way too many motivational speeches on YouTube. Donnie, the NFL isn't calling. You aren't going to be a head coach anytime soon. I mean, to be fair, he could easily become the next Dan Campbell by just yelling the crazy things he does in his speeches. He straight up couldn't do any worse than the guy who doesn't call any plays and just makes horrible fourth down decisions. Facts, George, and after looking at not to, it's slow and can't hit anything hard, so I doubt he stays on the team when we get our seventh Pokemon, but the bench always needs some spots. Very true. We always need to have six Pokemon on our team, so if we lose one, it's vital to make sure we have someone we can throw in. There's some type coverage and potential for more if we ever got it to evolve. How about we get back to the rest of our donations from last episode, since we took a little bit of a break from that with those two encounters. I haven't read any yet, so I'll take the next one with comes from Darter Jesus KM7, GF, who says we make outstanding content and that I am the GOAT. My good doctor, I 1 million percent agree with both of your points and thank you so much for your donation. And last but not least, we would like to thank Inuyasha Winscar, 2007 who can't wait for another great series and was a fan of Donnie breaking out old Betsy last episode. While I thank you for your donation, and also love Inuyasha. I don't think I can agree on saying I was a fan of when Donnie did that. Yeah, I definitely can't say I was a fan of that. I don't think we would have survived the episode if you didn't catch Vaporeon there, Joe. Oh, you guys are just being dramatic. Well, shit, that move didn't do much seeing. I'm hoping to just get some... Holy fucking shit, no! Donald, are you with us? It's okay, Compatible is alive, you're safe? Donald, say something, buddy. I think he's just paralyzed by the fear of what almost just happened. I've seen this before when people play a Nuzlocke. Just give him some space, he'll be all right in a minute. Holy shit, that was too fucking close, guys! I don't know what I would have done if I had let Compatible faint right there. Fucking critical hits, I will protect you, my king! I do remember the Sprout Tower quite well, Donnie. So just take a breath here. Now the top floor is scary, don't get me wrong. The first two floors have trainers with only level three Pokemon. They're super easy and we can get some nice experience depending on what Pokemon we face. Once we get to the top floor, we will have some level sevens and a level 10 to deal with. So as long as you are dialed in there, we're golden. We're going to be under leveled in episode two. Is this a joke? Because I'm not laughing Obama. It took until the second half of Pokemon Yellow for us to be under leveled, but now it's happening in episode two. I knew the level scaling was bullshit, but not this bad in the real game. It wasn't the biggest deal because it was just a hoot hoot, but seeing it's a randomizer, yeah, it could be a major problem. Maybe it's a good thing you got that scare with Vaporeon a little earlier because I know for damn sure you're dialed in right now. As long as you play smart, you'll be just fine and who knows, maybe we get a real stud as our third encounter in here. I mean, one can only pray. You were right about these battles though, Obama. Since we're facing level threes, these battles have been super easy and we are getting better experience than we would have been getting against the Bell Sprouts. I just hope it's all enough for us to get through this tower and then we have the gym next episode. I, this game isn't giving us a chance to rest at all. But it did just give us a Rapidash as our encounter in here. Holy shit, my luck has finally turned. Come to Papa, you majestic beast. Another 500 base stat Pokemon and a fire type as well, which we didn't have. For the love of God, don't fuck this up, Donnie. I could not be more laser focused right now, boys. Rapidash will be on this team. Please don't kill it. Slasher's attack is busted. Phew, it's in yellow, but it is poisoned. Donald, you have to hurry this up right now and get this capture. Yeah, I don't have time to waste now that it's poisoned. I want it to love me, so love ball go.
Shit, shit, shit! Get in the fucking ball before you die, you stupid, beautiful horse. I only want to help you. Not sure how poisoning it and taking it from its home is helping, but you do, you Donald. Bush, not the fucking time to analyze my words. I'm trying to focus here. Pokeball, go! Bro has ice in his fucking veins. Huge capture, Donald. Couldn't have done that better myself. Way to capture all three of your encounters and you saved the best for last. We now have three fully evolved Pokemon with at least 500 base stats and it's only episode two. What are you thinking for a name, Donald? Well, since I'm a massive SpongeBob fan, I'm gonna name our new horse mystery after SpongeBob's pet seahorse way back in the earlier seasons. I can't wait to see what our girl has for stats and moves. Just make sure you heal that poison since if it faints from that outside of battle, it still counts as a death. What do you take me for, some amateur? I obviously knew that, bro. Give me a break on some shit. Last few times you opened your mouth, you've been talking shit when I'm the one under fire right now. All right, man, I'm sorry. You might be the one playing, but it's all of our playthrough, so I'm just as nervous as you. If I back seat game, just know it's out of love for the homies and not to call you out. You're good, Bush. Don't worry about it. We all know it comes from a good place. But can we talk about mystery for a minute? Bro has speed and special attack as his leading stats and also knows Psychic. Based on everything, this might be our best Pokemon yet. We have to make sure to get it as much experience as possible during the rest of the Sprout Tower. I know Bro didn't just slander Captain Potosy like that. Mystery looks solid, but if it comes in contact with a water attack, we're going to have a funeral on our hands. That special defense was lower than Trump's approval ratings. First off, fuck you, Sleepy Joe. The only thing that was low during the greatest presidential first half ever from 2016 to 2020 was the gas prices. You'll never see the price for regular starting with a one ever again, but I do have to admit you are right about the special defense stat. At least we have that sky high special attack and speed, however, as long as we're in a spot to one hit, we're golden. I think we're in one of those situations right now, and we should get some great experience points seeing we're facing a fully evolved Pokemon with a higher level. Psychic should two-shot right now. Apparently Weezing is a pretty fast Pokemon in this seed if it's going to outspeed Mystery. This might not be the perfect situation we thought it would be. Damn only that much damage? Well, at least it lowered the special defense and two more hits to kill should be a guarantee. We just have to pray no water type attack coming our way. Unfortunately, it looks like even a not very effective fire attack would take out our new friend. She might not be as good as we thought, unfortunately. Seeing it's going to use Fire Punch, I'm going to switch back into Potosy to tank and finish it off with Psybeam. Mystery will still get some good experience, and at the end of the day, that's still a dub for us. I'm hoping that Weezing also has a busted special attack stat, because seeing Fire Punch do eight damage right, there was pretty disappointing. But way to not throw caution to the wind and protect Mystery right there. I'm sure there will be a time where she's a beast for us, but right now, it is not that time. We only have one potion left, seeing we are financially disabled thanks to Biden's economic policies, so I'm just going to use it on mystery. I don't feel like running all the way back to the Pokemon Center, so we're going to just charge straight at the opponent right here. I mean, you're clearly out of your mind if you're going to hate on the economy when it's in its best place it's ever been and ever will be after my time as president comes to an end in 2028. But bro, you can't seriously tell me you're going to risk the well-being of our team to avoid a trip back to the Pokemon Center. Get your fat ass down those stairs and pretend Nurse Joy is waiting for you with a Big Mac in each hand. Glossing over the straight pants on fire politifact that just came out of your mouth about the economy, Joe. He is absolutely right, Donald. How can you risk Holy one of our- Holy fucking shit, Magnitude 7. Break out the coffin mystery is done for everyone. Jesus fucking Christ, that was way too scary. If that number was any higher than seven, mystery would have had to be put in the PC at the farm up north. I was not ready for that. Breathe out everyone. Mystery might be a horse, but she has that fucking dog in her. Ain't no way Cobra spelled backwards was gonna take out our girl. But situations like these are why I'm not going back to the Pokemon Center. As we get to the first gym, we need to know which of our team members are for real and have that dog in them. Anyone who can't handle the heat can get the fuck out of the kitchen. And they shouldn't even bother making the trip to the gym next episode, Survival of the Fittest. 
I think Biden has that paralysis that you had earlier in this episode, Donnie. Are you with us, Joe? Guys, there's a reason I've never done a Nuzlocke before. I've never told it to anyone else, but I can't fathom losing one of our partners forever. I wouldn't be able to handle the guilt if I was playing. And I don't know if I could trust any of you again if you let someone faint. I don't think I can do this. Mr. President, don't you ever show fear in the face of adversity. Where's the Biden that was our fearless MVP during Pokemon Yellow? Losing Pokemon is a part of a Nuzlocke. It's just going to happen and you have to deal with it. Yes, I understand the stakes are at an all-time high and anything could happen, but there's no reward without the risk. As much as I want to make fun of you and say, get the hell off this team, if that's how you're going to think, even I respect your gameplay, Joe, and know you can be an incredibly valuable member of this team. Buck the fuck up and get in gear. You did just fine in your first episode, and you'll do the same when you take the Game Boy back in episode five. Are you with us, Biden? Do you have that dog in you? Damn, that was surprisingly wholesome from you, Donald. But he's right, Joe. Never fear losing a Pokemon. Sometimes it's just going to happen. You rarely know what move a Pokemon will have. And you can never predict a critical hit. Just stick to your guns and believe in yourself and we will not, or should I say, cannot fail. Oh man, you guys are right. I'm sorry and I promise I'll never have a moment of weakness like that again. One of the mottos of our channel is all gas, no breaks, and I'll stand true to that. Let's wrap this episode up on a high note, Donnie, and let's make it out of this tower. That's the fucking attitude I want to hear. Sleepy Joe, now don't think that's going to be how I treat you on the debate stage because I'll be more ruthless than ever. This series is going to be our last time together before the election, so let's make it a great one. You better believe it, Donald. And was I imagining that, or did Mystery just learn Mega Drain as well? That means we now have a recovery grass type move and a psychic type move to go along with a fighting move. All we need now is a fire move, and that move set is absolutely perfect. Speaking of a fire move, that would be the one to have. Of course, a freaking Weedle has it. But one more attack will finish off this trainer and also get Snoop to level nine. So great job up to this point, Donald. I really do still think you should head back to the Pokemon Center before this last battle, but if your mind is fixed on it and you're making these perfect plays, I think we're in a great spot for the Elder. We just have to hope that level 10 Pokemon isn't something to be afraid of or we will definitely be in trouble. Damn, it sounded like the tower was going to fall apart. Did Tucker just beat the shit out of the Elder like he did to Biden outside the lab? That red-haired menace is absolutely brutal. It's Tucker, so don't even worry about it, George. You also heard what the Elder says. He doesn't care for his Pokemon enough, and that will hold him back in the end. He can have that win, but it means nothing in the end. Just like Paul, he will fail because of his training style. Oh, my bad, Obama. I'm sorry about mentioning he who shall not be spoken of. Ugh. It's fine. Even though it was just a simulation, it still feels so damn real, and even knowing he's like Paul in the slightest bit makes me want to rip that red hair off his head like it was a clown wig. Fuck that guy and fuck Paul. Take a breath, buddy. As you said, it was just a simulation, and Paul isn't even a real person. Clear your mind and be ready to help Donald if he needs help in this battle. Yeah, that's my bad. I thought the therapy I had been going to was helping, but apparently not enough. Slasher has to get out of here, and yesterday, Donald, you're not going to be able to touch him, even with that attack stat. Even though it's not very effective, this has to do something right. Eh, maybe not. I guess, shit, having to switch right here is not an ideal situation. But we do have Potosy at near full health, so this is definitely the switch for us. I have an idea. Let's get some good karma in here. We actually just got another donation today, so let's read it off, and hopefully, Arceus blesses us with some good RNG. This shout out goes out to Osman Alpaslan 152 for throwing us some food money and letting us know that he thought yellow was awesome. Thank you so much, buddy. We really appreciate it. Good fucking call, Bush. We guarantee a knockout this turn with another thunderbolt, and then we can switch out of our parish count after this turn. Karma, you never let us down. Apparently it wasn't the best karma because we got a stupid low roll right there. This sucks taking some extra damage, but we just have to take the win of getting the knockout. 
and moving on to his next Pokemon. Only two to go. Keep it up, Donald. A few more experience points to level up would have been pretty clutch right there, but it is what it is. We got Ariados next, which should provide us some decent experience. I'm going back to Slasher for the relatively high health number, and Metal Claw should three hit kill at the absolute worst. That would set us up being able to get Potosy in for the final battle if the matchup is right, but of course it's something I'm just gonna play by ear. It's time for my dogs to bark louder than ever and lead us to victory. Arf, 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 awoo. Uh, not exactly the barking or the dog I guess I had in mind, but I'll take it, Biden. The heart is there. That's what I like to see. Can I get some ice cream as a treat? Uh, yeah, uh, sure, Joe. If it tastes like there's a pill in there, there isn't. That makes sense. Ice cream me, master. How long has this? You know what, I take full responsibility for this one, guys. This episode went over the limit for Biden being able to hold in his sussy inner thoughts, and I should have been watching the timer. I won't let it happen again. It's just as much on us since you had to focus on the game, but here we go, guys. The final Pokemon is Bulbasaur, a first stage Pokemon we should be able to take down even being underleveled. Thank you, RNG Jesus. We may only have 19 health here, but Cybium is super effective. I'm rolling the dice and going for broke. Let's go, my glorious Potosy. Two episodes in a row slipping on the mic like that, Donald. Is Biden's dementia contagious because I might need to start wearing a mask in here? Oh, shut the hell up and just let me do my thing. This isn't the best spot, seeing I would need two more hits to knock out this Bulbasaur, but hopefully it just uses Sharpen again. Thanks for that pill. I really needed it, Barack. Oh, shit, Confuse Ray. That's not ideal. Don't risk it, Donald. Don't pull a Dan Campbell. Switch now. As much as I want to go for it on fourth down, I'm going to do the smart move and not risk Potosy being sent to the PC. I'm going to the team member I believe in more than anybody. Bring this one home for us compatible. Two sports references in one episode? Damn, now we're really pushing it. But hey, look at used bind. That's the perfect move for us to switch into. With it in the red, you would think even a frustration can take it down. That's exactly the play. Compatible obviously loves me as much as I love him. So this won't have a high base power, but it should be just enough. Here we go. Finish this up, you beautiful bastard. That's Fuck what I'm yeah, talking baby. about. Well played, Donald. Your strategy worked out perfectly. We're through the Sprout Tower, and we pick up Flash for after the first gym. Ice in your veins for real, bro. I mean, was there ever any doubt? Of course not. Like I said this season, it's my turn to be the MVP you all deserve. But on that amazing victory, I think it's time we sign off, everyone. That will do it for episode two. Thank you, everyone who stuck around this long, and the stage is set for us to get our first badge next episode. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you next Thursday. Hell yeah, Donnie, you know it. You've put me in a great spot for the Violet City Gym. I won't let us down. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Get ready for a master class next week, courtesy of yours truly. See you then. If you haven't already, Join the Pokeforce One Discord using the link in the description to be connected with all the best communities in Pokemon AI content. We're just about to hit 300 members and we hope to see you there. Have a great week, everyone. See you next time. Rise and shine, YouTube. And welcome to episode three of Presidents Play Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. We've got a big episode today as I will attempt to obtain our first gym badge against Faulkner in Violet City. How are you all doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Barack. Thank you for asking. Did you see my incredibly dominating primary win in South Carolina the other day? I have 96.2% of the vote down there. I must literally be viewed as a god to them. Biden, you do realize that the incumbent literally always wins those in overwhelming fashion, right? In fact, I'm surprised you didn't win by more, but anyway. I see you wasted no time here, Barack. Let's get this challenge started and see what type we will be up against here. It's the first Jim Bush. What's the worst that could... No, please, continue that sentence, Donald. Um, what I was saying was, look, guys, it's just a water gym. It just so happens to be a Kingdra in our way. Do you think there's any chance that the game would give us the dragon type to go up against right at the start? Well, guys, it was a fun run. I would like to thank everyone who checked out episodes one and two, as well as this eventual disaster when a Dragonite rips our team to shreds. No refunds will be given and have a great day. Roll the outro. 
No, don't roll the outro, you jackass. We're going to take down this gym and make Faulkner our you lived bitch. A good life, mystery. Have some goddamn girl. faith in me, Joe. I literally took down half the gyms in our last series, and I'm going to take down this one. Biden, shut the hell up with your negativity. You see, mystery tanked that because she's a beast. It's been established already that she's got that dog in her. And a puny little hyper beam isn't going to take her out. I will ask, why are you switching through, Barack? One more psychic will take it out. I mean, you're most likely right, but since Kingdra has the speed advantage, I don't want to take the risk of not taking it out on the recharge turn and then switching into a big hit of a potentially unknown type. I'm going to go with Slasher because it would absolutely tank a hyper beam and can take it out with a sludge. Unlike you, I'm going to head to the Pokemon Center between battles, so as long as our team isn't fainting, it's a win. Cool, calm, and collected like always, Barry. That's what I like to see. And because of it, we are rewarded with slasher learning. A grass-type move which is really good for his coverage. I will admit it is strange to see a Pokemon using the type of a move it's four times weak against, though. Gotta love the randomizer. It does stink that it's a special type move and Slasher is a physical attacking Pokemon, but it's still good to have. Now we can hopefully see what gym we're going up against with this trainer. Well, it looks like we're clearly going up against the Kingdra type gym. Obama, you didn't tell us in your little randomizer information piece that gyms would only have trainers using a single Pokemon. That's some important information. Joe, it isn't the Kingdra type gym. The randomizer just happened to have the first two Pokemon we encounter here be Kingdras. So we actually still don't know what type we are dealing with overall. But this battle should be easier seeing we're going up against what I assume is two level sevens and not a level nine like last time. At least this trainer does have two Pokemon, so hopefully we finally know what type we're dealing with. It really would be nice to know seeing the gym leader is our next opponent. Holy shit, Mystery is getting a ton of experience from that battle even when it was overleveled. You see, I was right, it is the Kingdra type gym, I told you. Barack, why do you keep insisting on lying to us? Joe, for the last time, it is not the fucking Kingdra type gym. I admit is incredibly highly unlikely that the first three Pokemon have been exactly the same, but that doesn't change the fact that this is the water or dragon type gym still. I don't know, Barack, I think Joey might be onto something here. I mean, what are the odds that every Pokemon we have seen so far has been exactly the same? I think you may have hit the wrong button when you were generating this seed and set up all gyms to have the exact same Pokemon. It's not a bad thing if you did it, it's just another twist. That's all. I swear to God I will pull a repeat of the Cinnabar Gym if you idiots keep pissing me off when I'm trying to deal with this potentially dragon type first gym without losing any of our teammates. It's not the fucking Kingdra type gym. So I advise you guys shut up because the memory of that gym battle is still fresh inside my brain and I still have nightmares from it. If you say you don't, Joe, you'd be the biggest liar I've ever known. I sleep about 75% of the day. So to be honest, there isn't much I haven't dreamed about at this point. But yeah, I could do without Obama going ultra instinct on us, that's fair. Hey, wait a minute, you transformed only after we went into the simulation. How do we know if you can even do that outside the simulation? I'm calling your bluff right here, Obama. Hey, good luck in the gym battle, buddy. We're all rooting for you. That's what I thought you said, my good chum. Now, if you will please all cut out the bullshit, I need to focus. I have no idea if we're going up against dragons, and if we are, I need to be dialed in or it could be a massacre. Give him hell, Barack. You got this. We're getting 16 badges on this run, and it starts with you right here and right now. Well, Barack, I'm officially man enough to admit when I'm wrong. It looks like it is, in fact, the dragon-type gym and not the Kingdra-type gym. Mystery and Psychic should be our best friend right now. To be honest with you, I was starting to get worried I did accidentally hit something wrong, and we were, in fact, battling a gym with all of the same type. Although it doesn't give me relief, we're battling dragons right off the start. It's something not on my mind anymore. Looks like this first battle is safely in hand. While Dragonair did have a water type move, it wasn't strong, and Mystery can take it out easily with two more psychics. I just hope we don't have to deal with a Dragonite at some time during this battle that is stacked with a variety of moves. If I remember correctly, I think Faulkner only has two Pokemon, so it's either now or never, so place your bets now because you have a one in four chance of guessing it correctly. 
We were literally one Pokemon away from having all five opponents in this gym be a Kingdra. That is absolutely wild. At least we don't have to face a Dragonite and we have the inside scoop on its moves, seeing we've battled so many of them so far. I'm surprised that the gym leader has a Pokemon lower level than the Elder of the Sprout Tower, but I'm not going to punch a gift horse in the mouth. One more Kingdra to take down and the first badge is ours. I'm liking that supersonic play right there, Barack. Kind of reminds me of the sleep strategy we used the last time we battled dragons. Well, if there's anything we have learned, it's that Dark Brandon is an amazing battler, and his strategies are absolutely peak. Since we have a free switch right here, I think I'm going to bring in Captain Potosy to wrap this battle up. Come to think of it, who do you think would win in a battle between our Dark Brandon and Sukuna from the game producer Six Universe? Don't make me laugh, George. Dark Brandon would take Fraud Kuna to the cleaners. One of them battles with tactical mastery, and the other thinks they know the script. Agreed. But maybe this battle isn't as Joe Ver as we thought it was. Thunderbolt literally did nothing right there. If Kingdra doesn't start hurting itself, we're definitely going to have to change. I definitely didn't expect it to be two for two right now, but I just have to keep chipping away, and this battle still will be over. Potosy is doing its job. And if someone else has to finish the deal, then so be it. Slasher knocked out the first level 9 Kingdra we faced in this gym, and now he'll have the honor of knocking out the second one as well. I know it's pretty random here, but since we're in the gym battle right now, I think I have a good comment question of the episode for you all. Sorry again, we forgot about that last episode, by the way. If you were playing a randomizer, would you rather have the first gym be more difficult against dragons like these, or would you rather have them towards the end when your team is better equipped to face them? Let us know in the comments below. That's not a bad question, Bush. Comes down to if you're high risk, high reward, or like to play it safe. But in this case, we rolled the dice and came out winners. Faulkner is defeated, the first badge is ours, and we won't have to see dragons for a long time. Way to go, Obama. Sorry I overreacted and played the outro a little early. Can we chalk it down to it's a banger and I just like hearing it? Only because you were my VP, I'll let you get away with your lack of faith. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, and we're cool, Joe. I will admit I was definitely nervous when I knew it could be dragons to start as well. I'm just glad everything went fine and we can move on to some encounters before we make it to Azalea Town. By my calculations, I think we will have the opportunity to get three encounters before we sign off today. One to the west on Route 36, and then two to the south at the ruins of Alf and Route 32. It may not have been me, but I do hope you get lucky and encounter a legendary to add to our team, Barack. We really could use one. I mean, you're not wrong there, Donnie. But to be honest, our team is pretty solid right now, for the most part, so I'm just hoping we can get some coverages we didn't have, and if, hypothetically, something goes wrong, we can always have strong members on reserve. I did forget we get the egg after beating the first gym, so we will only have five party members for a little bit while we wait for that to hatch into what we hope will be something really good. Let's play a game here, everyone. Since we can't guess the Pokemon we want to catch this season, let's try and guess what Pokemon hatches from this egg. If you guess correctly, we will feature your comment on stream. All you have to do is name the Pokemon. Oh, that sounds like fun, George. I'll give it a go. I guess it could be anything since it just has to be at the beginning of an evolution line. So I'm gonna say it's a Magby. Biden picking a baby Pokemon? That couldn't have been more predictable. Do you ever plan on beating those allegations of you with the kids? Or is that gonna be a meme for the last two weeks of your life? Watch your mouth, Agent Orange, or I'll make sure you never use it again. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do, old man? Not like you have anything that can back up that trash talk. I'll say whatever I want and you'll like it. A joke. Is that what I think it is? Is that the Cabotops arm that you said you cut off your neighbor and made your own? No, of course not, George. Like you said, there's no way my stories could even be remotely true. Okay, Joe, you were right. You were a Sigma slasher, but hey, wasn't weapon safety a thing back then? Why don't we just put the arm away and forget any of this ever happened? You know, I could do that. But then again, it looked so fun last season when you lunged across the desk and did this. Get the fuck over here, Donnie. Save your future president. Somebody help. Oh.
Hey everyone, it's our first encounter of this episode. Good luck, Barack, I know you'll get it. Why are you guys so quiet? We should be pumped up and hyping up our boy for a massive encounter. It's a fully evolved Pokemon too, so this is a perfect addition. Joe, you literally just used Fury Swipes and hit Donnie five times while getting what looked like a critical hit each time. I don't think either Barack or I is focused on the game right now and just hoping that Donnie is all right. That was so irresponsible of you. Yeah, I would be lying if I said I'm absolutely focused on this. All I can picture is how you were smiling and laughing as you did it. Trump might not have said the nicest thing to you, but that doesn't mean you can go all Wolverine on him. Well, excuse me for not standing up for myself, Barack. I've been hearing those insults for long enough and I finally reached my breaking point. I think if anything, I should be celebrated as a beacon of peace for taking all those age digs for years. Why are you guys just staring at me? What did I say? I'm the victim here. Joe, did you just say you did your Gordon Ramsay knife practice on Donald because he called you old? Well, duh, George, what else did he say that warranted that? I swear, it's like, you don't listen sometimes. Would you like me to use my Cabot Tops arm to clean out those ears? That's not like you, buddy. Don't even fucking think about it, Joe. In fact, I'm confiscating this just so you're not tempted to use it again. But getting back to why we were stunned, we thought you did it because of the dig he made about you being overly fond of kids. Yeah, I heard that. You know, what's the issue with it? Do I need to clean out my ears? Joe, I just can't with you. Of course you're fucking ancient. You have a goddamn Kabutops arm under the Oval Office desk, for Christ's sake. How can you be offended by that? You're making me want to lunge over this desk again for old time's sake, but... No. I'm a changed man. Dr. Phil has helped me... Breathe, Barry. Breathe. Well, I guess when you put it that way, you have a point. No harm, no foul, buddy. No harm, no foul? You literally sent Donald to the infirmary. We literally have no idea if he's going to be okay. How can you possibly say that, Joe? Bro has thick fat as his ability, and he's definitely in a permanent Gigantamax form. So he'll be just fine. Don't you worry. Also, way to catch that Arbok Barak. What are you thinking for a name? To be honest, I never liked how Arbok was named by just spelling Cobra backwards and putting a K at the end. So I'll pay my respects to all the Cobras out there and put the name back to the way it should be. I will keep the K, though, because Game Freak was right about switching the C and the K. I do remember there's a Pokemon Center to the south of here, so I will try to catch our next two encounters before getting to the Pokemon Center. We can wrap things up by seeing our new teammates. Ugh. All right, guys, make some room. I'm back. What did I miss here? Donald, thank goodness you're okay. What did the doctors say? Well, I did need 69 stitches after Joe used Rage Attack on me, but thanks to my peak physical fitness, I was able to fight off the attack and come back stronger than ever. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Biden. I'm still taking the White House back from you this year, but maybe you're right. I do say the kids thing too many times, so at the risk of losing even more blood, I will tone back on it a little bit. I'm sorry. Now, Joe, don't you have something to say to Donald? Maybe something along the lines of, I'm sorry for nearly unaliving you over a dig. Uh, fine. Donald, I'm sorry my choice banded Fury Swipes nearly sent you to the RIP box in the PC for reminding me that my age is starting to get up there. It's all right, Biden. I... Wait a fucking second. Did you say you attacked me because of the joke about your age and not the kids thing, Joe? You fossil looking, kid sniffing looking, gas prices raising looking, demented narcoleptic jackass. You're lucky you can play Pokemon decently or I swear I'd install an ejection seat function on your desk chair. To be honest, I think Joe got off a lot easier than he could have right there. I mean, to be fair, it's probably because Donald is high off the finest perks that the White House has to offer him, most likely. But let's move on from that and focus on our next encounter this episode. We have another fully evolved Pokemon here. And while it may just be a Parasect, it's still another quality addition. You got this, Obama. Uh, I'm just going to try and keep weakening it with Thunderbolt so I have the slight chance of paralysis. And also, its special defense must be pretty decent to tank it from a Pokemon four levels higher than its own. But hey, just kidding. Why would it ever be easy? I'm just going to take out Potosy since he's confused and not mess around here. Let's try oh, some shit. physical attack. Oh shit, it knows Thunder, Slasher. Stay strong, buddy. You can't go out like this. Maybe just take a fucking breath before interrupting me, Joe. Just an idea. You should know better than anyone that Slasher is a Sigma bastard and he's not going anywhere with that Thunder attack. 
I will say though, to only see that much damage from that huge hitter electric move makes me really confident in Slasher's special defensive stat. Well shit, Parasect ain't ready to be caught just yet apparently. I thought you were knocking him out for sure, but if he can stand up to Slasher and then just laugh in our face when we throw a Pokeball at him with one HP, he might be pretty decent. Dare I say dog alert? Jesus Christ, we're getting both ends of the spectrum here. Just join our team, little Parasect. We promise we'll only make you stronger. But seriously, guys, can we talk about this moveset? Thunder and Sleep Powder? That's really good for us. Don't forget Sweet Kiss as well. A goaded electric attack. Dark Brandon's goaded sleep strategy and busted confusion. Someone on the team would have to step aside for him to join, but Parasect about to win the seventh man of the year award. Fucking finally, not going to lie, I'm glad I didn't place that bet for Donnie having his Big Mac induced heart attack before we got that capture. Way to stay with it, Obama and another solid addition to the team. What are you thinking for a name? Not going to waste any time with this one. Shrooms the Parasect is confirmed as our family grows a little more. Welcome to the team, Shrooms. I'm not sure if you'll play a major part in the long run, but knowing we have you in reserve really makes me feel confident about our chances. All right, boys, we got one more encounter and some trainer battles before we sign off today. So let's get out of this creepy place and back under the sun. Even to this day, this music creeps me out. I never really cared for the whole unknown storyline and never once even tried to catch all of them. I will admit the puzzles were a nice little challenge though and fun side quest to solve. Not gonna lie, I absolutely envy you, Donald. This game came out at almost the halfway point of my first term and I spent a good part of the second half trying to catch all those damn unknowns. Cheney and Laura both tried to steal my Game Boy so I would actually get back to work and I wasn't about to let them stop my progress. Put a pin in that story, George, because we got our Route 32 encounter. Come on, Legendary. Yeah, uh, not exactly uh, Legendary. I mean, I, I want to be upset, but we did get two other pretty good encounters, so it is what it is. He will evolve with a water stone as well, so I guess that's a positive, right? I mean, we're grasping at straws here since who knows when we'll get a water stone, but I guess so. Just catch it, Barack, and just give us another option for our team. Yeah, that's the plan. This side beam should put it into red, and I should easily be able to... Honestly, Barack, we ain't even mad at that one. Who knows how long it would have been until we could evolve it? And it was literally Derp Duck, which the anime made look useless, unless it had a headache. Overall, you did a great job with your encounter. Captures this episode, bringing in Cobra and Shrooms. So no hate your way in any way, Obama. Even if you were the first one to fumble the bag on an encounter, I'm just glad it wasn't me. Yeah, not exactly glad to have that title, even if it was a stupid role. Anyway, George getting back to your story. How long did it take for you to end up catching all the unknowns? Did you 100% the game as well? Yeah, not exactly a happy ending to my story. I straight up had about 300 hours of playtime on my crystal save file trying to not only fill the Pokedex, catch every unknown, and get my team all to level 100. I was so close to completing my goal. I was missing three unknown, and then I was done. But unfortunately, on the night of Game 3 of the 2001 World Series, I threw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium, and per a clubhouse attendant, Derek Jeter stole my Game Boy Color and went on to say, he performed all the feats I accomplished. That stupid, likable bastard, why did he have to be good at baseball? I'm just glad his ownership of the Marlins was an absolute dumpster fire. He deserves it. Holy shit, it's our Kelly. George, I'm sorry to interrupt your super tragic story, but it's our fucking Kelly. We missed you, buddy, but what are you doing with that scrub of a trainer? Get over here on our side, my main man. Oh, Sleepy Joe, that's not the real R. Kelly. That's just an imposter that is nowhere near the goaded Chad that was a part of our legendary Pokemon Yellow team. I will admit I do miss him, though. That was my pick for the team, and his hypnosis attack was absolutely vital to our Indigo Plateau run. Damn it, now I'm upset and miss him. Thanks a lot, Biden. I'm not sure we would have been able to not lose a Pokemon against Lorelei or Putin if it wasn't for R. Kelly, a true Titan, and he will be remembered. One last bit of closure to your story. George, I actually met up with Jeter once, 
and he did show me that Pokemon Crystal save file. I wish I knew the truth back then because I would have knocked his ass out to return you your game. Not even Biden deserves that horrible a fate. Oh, uh, thanks, buddy. You're really warming up to me. I knew you would like me if you just gave me a chance. If these perks weren't starting to lose their effect, I'd show you how much I love you, Biden. I'd show you with my brass knuckles, you bastard. All right, how about we pivot from this soon to be senior UFC event? And shout out our amazing and generous donators from episode two. How about you lead us off, George? I can definitely do that, Obama. It will also take my mind off Derek Jeter for a minute as well. Our first donation comes from none other than Goat Producer Six. He donates us 5.99 Euro people money and remembers his clan, the GP, Gulpin Gatherers, challenging the Sigma Slashers in a gang war. He does admit that you were too strong for his almighty triple, Glizzy Guzzle, and you won the war, but he wants that salty run back. Wait a minute, that sussy furry who leads the GP Gulp and Gathers was actually the content creator GP? How the fuck is he still alive? Is he a witch? Raise the torches, men. To Europe we ride. I'm taking out that glizzy gulping cake baking threat to society immediately. Democracy is ready to be delivered faster than an Amazon Prime package. Hold up, Joe. Those are just allegations of him being a furry. We won't know for sure until those forever deleted Cinderace cosplay photos come back into the light of day. And also, you were alive back then, too. Are you a witch, Joe? Maybe we have two missions to take care of tonight. We'll be heroes in Salem, boys. Dark Brandon's life force fuels Biden. Donald, you know that he's not a witch. And we can't take out Goat Producer 6 until we get those photos. Until then, the mission is on hold. Also, you didn't hear any of that GP. Thank you so much for your donation, even if you are a Lou Min Eon hater. He hates what Pokemon now. Screw the photos. This is for our super underrated fish. You know what? No. Breathe, Joey. You're better than this. Oh, man. I'm just going to go with the next donation to clear my head. Our next donation comes from our good friend Osman Alpaslan, 152, who throws us another donation but had to include that Donald is truly a Pokemon master. Seriously. Bro. Thanks for the donation, but we all know I'm the true Pokemon master. Wait, now you're suddenly better than this? Not when you slashed me up seven ways to Sunday? Fuck you, Sleepy, but thank you very much, Osman Alpaslan 152. You are truly a king in my eyes, and thank you so much, not only for the donation, but for the kind words as well. Our next donation comes from the legendary King Onyx. He's back at it again with the $10 donation and also thinks the team is shaping up very nicely. To answer your other question, buddy, the answer is no. If the team we have out faints, it's GG, no re. We would fail the Nuzlocke if that were to happen. Thank you so much, as always, for the donation. Buddy and I hope the shenanigans, especially what Joe did today, were to your liking. Bro literally keeps the lights on for us. Thank you so much, Onyx. You come out here every episode and throw us some bones and a special shout out to you. You're always there for us and we love Um, is that what I think it is? Ain't no way we got fucked by the RNG when there was a legendary on this route. Fuck you, Game Freak. I don't care about all the blessings you have given us on this run. Now we have to kill this Raikou. God fucking damn it! My entire day is ruined. I just want to crawl up into a ball and cry. Just do what you have to do, Barack, and tell me when it's over. Maybe not the time, but to make things even worse, I, it has a stab move in Thundershock. It's weak granted, but still it's stab. Oh well, at least we get some nice experience, I suppose. It's done, the deed, it's done. We encountered a freaking Psyduck. When there was a chance of running into that, just, yeah, I have no words. All right, listen. Up to that point, we have had a really good episode gameplay-wise. So, let's not throw it all away. Let's pick our spirits back up, fight this last trainer, and then check our two new Pokemon before ending this episode off. I'll even read off the next donation. It comes from Swagner, 5021, who threw us 15 bucks and said, if we were gym leaders, what type would we be and what Pokemon would we have? Personally, I would have fire types so my passion can blaze across the land. My team would be Arcanine, Blaziken, Infernip, Houndoom, Volcarona, and Chandelure. You know me, I would be the steel type because there ain't no way my ironclad defenses would be breached. And let's be real, they just look badass. 
I would have an Empoleon, Lucario, Golden Go, Metagross, Scissor, and Edgeslash. Yeah, just don't go Byron on us with the whole defense thing. But if you want to talk about looking badass, look no further than my go to the electric type. Luxray, Electivire, Jolteon, Zebstrika, Raichu, and Toxtricity. Well, for me, I'll go with the ground type because let's be real, they're the best, no questions asked. None of your teams would beat my Tyranitar, Garchomp, Rhyperior, Excadrill, Gliscor, and Nidoking. Thanks again for the fun question and donation, Swagner5021, and giving me a chance to win that. Not going to lie, I kind of forgot how busted the ground type was. Our next donation comes from Empty Crevice Jack 7 xcw He gives us five Canadian dollars, and yeah, Buddy Rapidash was a huge capture. If Mystery gets a fire move, we got this on lock. Also, yeah, I think you saw those arms. See this episode already, buddy. We won't show those again. Thank you for the donation. We do have one more donation, but we did just get to the Pokemon Center, boys. So let's take a look at both Shrooms and Cobra to see how good they actually are. I can't lie, I've been waiting for this all episode. Let's start off with Shrooms first. Our capture from the Ruins of Alf, he's a level six. And it looks like he has the three moves that we saw in our battle only. Still an amazing move set for a fully evolved level six Pokemon. Next up, we have Cobra. Ember, Magnitude and Blizzard is also a goaded early level move set for a fully evolved Pokemon and holy shiitake mushrooms boys. Look at that speed stat. It's a shame that attack and special attack aren't switched, but that is a viable option. It really sucks we couldn't get that Raikou, but it is what it is. We can always find one for damn sure. Now I think there's the matter of that huge donation we got, Barack, a big $25. How about you read that one off? And finally, we have our last and biggest donation from last episode. It was pinned as all top donations every episode will be, and it came from Lowrider6217. He first asked if we have an official group name. We don't, but that could be something fun to think of. We should try and do that over the next few episodes. And what are all of our thoughts on Oh no, this can't end well. Huh. You say, oh, don't mind if I Joseph, do. Relax. My dummy mommy can visit the White House whenever she wants. The two of us could go to the bunker and do absolutely no, unholy things. You don't sleep I would throw it all away Joseph for two Robinette minutes Biden, with my You control beauty. yourself right now. Oh, fuck it, this is hopeless. I'm forever. cutting the feed when I can. Me, See my you queen. next week, everyone. You're everything I would.